Yo, what's good, everybody? We're out here for the first Thrift Hype 603 vlog. Going to Boston Got Sold, my boy Davey. Filming up, aimless focus. Gonna sell some shoes today. Should be real fun. Yeah, last time was a two-day event. It was too long, too many people looking for, you know, the better deal the next day, and then they didn't want it. And just not a whole lot of money to be made. Hopefully this one's back at Gillette, which is an even better venue. Gonna try and share a table with my boy Cashman P. Shouts out to the Cashman P. Or hang out with Dead Rev here with uh with Yeah, Dead um Rev. Dead Revolution, uh clothing brand out of the Seacoast area in New Hampshire. Did some filming for the homies a while back. Well, we shouldn't be too long here. Yeah, Probably we're, be there. We're uh, like 15 minutes out. We're um, getting there a little early. So definitely filming a bunch. Getting our stuff ready to go. We're about to go inside. We don't have too much heat today. Yeah, what do we got today, man? Not a whole lot of heat. Uh, I didn't bring a whole lot. I see some Lucky Charms over there. Lucky Charms from last night. Hell yeah. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are my reflective Jordan 3s. It's called the Bob Labs. Kyrie's I got in a trade. You know, some normal Jordan 1s. Everyone likes the Jordan 1s. Um, the Pine Greens. Pine Green Jordan 1s. I wore them a lot. Time to find a new good home. Duffel bag uh, full of random clothes. Hopefully I can even sell the duffel bag. Let's make some cash. Back. I might buy a figure or two. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's get out of here. We got a lot of gear here. Davey, what you looking like for gear? You got a ton? Uh, yeah, I got somehow I gotta try and get two pairs of shoes in there. Somehow just we haven't I got, seen I got them the, out of uh, here. So yeah, we won't be able to film a whole ton before we uh, yeah. get in there because we gotta carry all our gear. So we'll see you guys in there. What's up guys, we got the Ronin set up, gotta head outside and get some some establishing shots, people coming in outside of the venue, so it should be good, nice sunny day, should make for some good content. Yo hey guys, we out here with Cashman P. Well you know the vibes, what's up man? Cashman P, Boston Zone. Oh, here? for real? Are you gonna put him on it? Okay. You out here? Oh, you we got, we got merch today. Oh, oh, we got a whole lot of shoes not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the makeshift thrift hype table. What's up, guys? We out here. So I didn't buy a table, but no one showed up to this one, so I set up on the end. Hoping we make some sales. Already made some cash, sold the pine greens. Sold them for 120. Not, not what I wanted to sell them for, but I sold them. Around some stuff. What are you looking for? Anything cool. I'm looking for steals. Uh, stuff to fill the hype room so I can fill some more dope vlogs for you guys. There's, there's so much heat here. $120? That's high. Did you say $20? But, no. What'd he say? $120. Oh. Right here we got my boy Hub City Souls, my boy Alex. Always giving me a deal. Dude, these are the ones. Offer me a trade on these. You bought some kicks yet? Oh yeah, we bought some things. We bought some things. Yo, can I see those uh, Jordans? Size 14. Size so 14? That's Need some big feet. <laughs> Room to grow. Room to grow. Wear, wear multiple pairs of socks. Yeah, yeah, I, I might come back for this. I sell some stuff. Let's work something out. You know what it bro. Every Ready? time. Eleven and a half. I could fit these. What do you think of this pink link? What? Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Not me. Nine hundred, dog. Nine hundred. Just not the price I'm looking to pay. Have me on the phone, man. What's the word, man? Cash me up. I got everything you need. We got the CDs. We got the shirts. We got the mo. We got the duffel bags. What you need, man? We got the sweaters. You got your mixtape, man. We don't discriminate. We got this. Come on, man. We know we got that. Hell yeah. yeah. Almost lit your camera on fire with this. I love bogos. What's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah, man. You got any XLs? 
dialed all large from here on down. The leopard headband action. Dude. What you got? What you got? Did you get anything new yet since I came back? No, I haven't been buying anything yet. Yeah, that just tried it on too. That was it too big? It was, no, he was like my... Go over here, dude. Look at these things. You're sick. You want to see the coolest shoe here? Sure. Dude, I took Rookie of the Years and I made him into Travis Scott 1 costume. Yo! See, rookie of the Year, Travis 1. He was asking three fifty for him. Those are hype, yo. Those are wicked hype. Dude, Lance Mountains, too. What size are these? Ten and a half. Ten and a half? That's Cecil's size. And I have to be one of these, right? Not even scratched too bad. I saw your face. I was like, Dude, and those are probably his size, too, right? I'm a 12. Okay, yeah. I, I would just have to squeeze. <laughs> you know, what, was it, what was he trying to sell you, bro? Purple lobsters and EU off whites. Exclusives. What do you think of those purple lobsters, bro? With this I purple like purple lobsters. I love my dunks, dude. I love dunks. Are you lucky fines or unreal fines? Lucky fines. Lucky fines. Okay, I've yeah, talked to unreal fines. Fine. Yeah. yeah. So that's like two grand for yeah. it, which is still low. Yeah. So now I'm asking three. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, nah, dude, that's like an $800 jacket. And then, and then he was getting mad. He said, "What's the highest offer?" I said, "I haven't gotten any offers." I would not He's like, "Don't be a dick." I'm like, "What do you mean? I haven't gotten any offers." Yeah. Other than three grand, I wouldn't sell. Yeah. Right. How long is he in it, bro? And you want to see the best part? I don't know if you saw this already. That's my Goodwill tag. Oh, that's sick. So 15. What Goodwill do you go to? This was in Buffalo, New York. Vacation. Can I just pull up I saw a picture of you, you, Marky. Portsmouth? Yeah, Portsmouth. I think I've talked to you before. Yeah, bro. I follow both of you all the time. Oh, 603. Alright, yeah. Take that at 2. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'll grab some bands at some point. I'll be here, man. Maybe if I get 3K, right? Hopefully, bro. Then I get 3K. Thanks, bro. Dang, what a pickup, yo. Yeah, dude, that thing's insane. It's not even the Supreme one, which even makes it cooler. As you can see, I'm in my new apartment, new hype room. Uh, I'll show you guys around real quick. I'm gonna be buying a bunch more stuff for it. So we got shelves over here, closet full of stuff, lights on the basketball hoop, couch. I gotta fill this wall with, you know, some decor and such. Got some stuff coming in. I'll show you what I got. Okay guys, first item, I got this in trade. I'll trade a Supreme bandana for it. Thought this was pretty cool. It's a bathing ape coin tray, um, it clips together. Got it from a little coffee table here. I like it, I like the color, I like the pink. Second item, it's a Kelsey design, these logos on these hoodies. It was for Easter, but they were still selling them. It's got the bunny rabbit on the back, Kelsey designed that. If you, uh, if you wanna buy one, message me, I'll uh, hit up Dev for you. Next item is a shoe that I've wanted for a while. A couple of my friends said they didn't like them, they have a couple different types of this shoe. It's the Fear of Gods, they come in the Fear of God 1. Fear God Air 1, Fear God Raid, and then the Mox. Not a whole lot of people like the Mox. They retail at 170, and I think they're reselling for about 140. But I like them. The kid offered me 60 bucks for them. I thought that was low. I didn't want to just rip the kid off, so I actually traded him a shoe that was worth about 120, 140. It was a Laser 30th Anniversary Jordan 1, so I traded him those for these. So the kid got a good shoe, I got a good shoe. Um, that's them. I'll probably keep them. They seem like a good summer shoe, um, but they didn't have the box, so it usually has an orange sleeve over the box. But it's whatever, I'm just gonna wear them anyways. Yeah, good shoe, good pickup. And then here is the coolest part. Some kid thought these were just some regular Jordans, was selling them for really low. I didn't know what they were. So here they are. These are from 2002. They come in their original cardboard box. They are Jordan 17s. Here's the box, here's the label for them. That's oh, a little backwards, but uh, has the original finish line tag, retailed at $199.99, so 200 bucks. These are a size nine, not my size, so either I'm holding on to them as a display or I'm selling them. These are in amazing condition. Normally shoes, after 15 years at least, they begin to crack and crumble, even if they're unworn, it's almost especially if they're unworn. These come with this briefcase. It's got an Air Jordan briefcase. Uh, I had never seen it before, so when I was going along, all I saw was the briefcase, and this kid said $30. And I said, yeah, I'll just, he had, he had the shoes in his hand. He said, here, the shoes through the $30, they even come with the briefcase. And I just wanted the briefcase for a display. Well, I wanted those Air Jordan SP uh, Genas that just came out, the black and flashy ones with the apple on them. I, I didn't get them. 
Uh, they're $400. I think this is a little too high for me, but they have a metal Jordan 1 box. So I saw this, I said 30 bucks. I'll take it. Here they are. They're pretty cool. Uh, they're not something I would wear personally, but they're still a really cool looking shoe. So here they are. I'll show you it opened up, so I'll open it for you. So when you open it up, it's got the shoes, and it's got this foam in here, and it's got this CD. Now the coolest part is that this CD from after 2002, that's a couple years after I was born, is still in the plastic. So it's got songs in it, I guess. Yeah, they're really cool. So that's a nice pickup. They fit nicely in that cardboard box. Other than that, I didn't get a whole lot else. Um, I grabbed a Supreme tea for my girlfriend Kelsey. It was a great event. Yeah, thank everyone for watching and hope to give you some more great vlogs in the future.